See you, boo. Mes euh, assistants ont lu votre travail. C'est bien. C'est bien amené, c'est pas trop mal argumenté. Mais alors, il y a, y a quand même quelque chose qui nous a chiffonné. Vous voyez ce que je veux dire Comme une, euh, une étrange variation de style, vous voyez ah bon Je vais vous donner un exemple. Hein. Vous allez voir, c'est étonnant. Page 2, 2 de votre introduction, vous écrivez « C'est quoi qu'il y a derrière l'idée de démocratie ?» Et puis alors, d'un coup, je sais pas, la révélation, la grâce qui vous tombe dessus, 3 heures du matin, vous vous mettez au bureau et vous écrivez. Alors ça, c'est plus loin, c'est à la page 25 de votre conclusion. Ce système politique, dites-vous, repose en effet sur d'improbables prémices, etc., etc. Là, voilà. Mais le risque existe de voir ce manteau trop commode à recouvrir des pratiques totalement contraires à l'exigence éthique dont elle était originellement porteuse. Magnifique. Vous connaissez ce document Ce sont les directives de l'université en matière de plagiat des étudiants. Et alors, selon ce document, vous êtes mal embarqué. Vraiment. Vous voulez savoir pourquoi Parce qu'en 1992, un type, improbable, c'est un certain Philippe Bro, a écrit euh, la même phrase que vous. Marrant, non Qu'est-ce qu'on fait Attention Obviously, Fred, no one would ever want to be in your situation, caught with your hand in the cookie jar, having to explain yourself to your professor, with your reputation, your pride, and your academic degree all in jeopardy. But what do people mean exactly when they talk about plagiarism? According to the University of Geneva's Directive on Student Plagiarism, plagiarism is defined as inserting in one's academic work formulations, phrases, passages, images, or whole chapters, as well as ideas or analyses taken from the work of others and presenting them as one's own. Plagiarism is committed either by actively appropriating the words or ideas of others or by failing to reference them and their sources correctly. In other words, plagiarism is taking someone else's work and presenting it as your own, using excerpts of texts, books, articles, websites, etc. in your own work without mentioning the original author, modifying an author's text by replacing his or her words with synonyms, taking an author's ideas and expressing them in your own words without mentioning the source, using images, graphics, and so on without indicating where you got them from. Don't try to be sneaky and think you can get away with it. Plagiarism always ends up being uncovered. The university has a procedure in place for the detection of this type of fraud. As soon as instructors suspect that a student has plagiarized, they begin an investigation. First, they use an IT tool, plagiarism detection software. In some degree programs, the software is used on a regular basis. The software program generates a report that is reviewed by the teaching staff. A file is then put together on the basis of those results and sent to the office of the dean, who refers the case to the disciplinary committee. The student is then given an opportunity to provide an explanation. What happens next depends on how serious the case is and on the sanctions that are applied. Any act of plagiarism could have very serious consequences for your academic career. If the university finds you guilty of plagiarism, it can apply a range of sanctions, including giving you a grade of zero on your paper, cancelling your exams, and even expelling you. Take the time to find out about the rules. As a student, you are responsible for citing your sources, knowing the rules, and reading the regulations, so that you're not caught, albeit because of an oversight, plagiarizing in flagrante delicto. As the adage goes, ignorance of the law is no excuse. You have conscience that all this is a bad dream, 